So we are here in the dev server again guys and we are flying out the SU-30 but we're gonna fly more aircraft. In this video we are going to show to you guys the new uh, mechanics that they added for aircraft. Okay, they are, there are some other ones that I might do other videos about but this one is for the aircraft, okay? So we start off with probably which is the most interesting one and the one that it's getting the most attention uh basically the cobra button so now if you go to controls over here in switch maneuver and limits mode you have a button that you can put on i put it this one and with this you can see this little um like the little but like little box down there with the button and you know we are here flying around normally but if you click that aircraft, like that button, you will appear. The maneuver mode on. AOA limits off. Which means that you can basically have a full real control, kind of. The thing is, it's not really full real control. You can still use um, the mouse aim and stuff, and it's still working very well. But it basically takes off the limit of the AOA that you can pull. Basically, it's a button for turning your fly-by-wire limits off, right? So that way you can do a Cobra maneuver in an easier manner without having to actually go to full real control, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, this thing actually exist in real life there is a button for that in the sukhois there are other aircraft out there that have it right now it's mainly sukhois and f-18 but i think there will be other aircraft as well so uh basically you just click on the button and like for just for you to take a look for example here i can pull it's just a pull right if i click the button and i do the pull again you will see that it is a cobra this is even a super cobra right uh, I will be testing this more in a specific video, showing to you guys, again, how to do the COVID, how to do the uh, other maneuvers. If you don't do it carefully, you can crash very easily. So I will be doing a video like that. Uh, I will be testing it out a little bit more and getting used to it. Uh, the cool part is that you can use it with mouse aim as well. So, for example, it's turned it on, right? So you want to actually... Um, you know, have, for example, a shot in a target. Where is the target? In an easy target like that, for example, right? But you can, like, I'm just flying around. But then there's a target right there. I want to fire. So you turn it on and you just point the mouse and you can fire a little bit quicker. So uh, it's a little bit easier to get the Cobra to work, basically, right? So, uh, for example, here, you can just pull it and then you will be able to shoot instead of having to use the keyboard to pull the cobra which it was basically the way that you used to do before right so uh, because you were using full real control so it's the best possible mechanic ever for the flankers especially but the f-18s as well let me show to you guys in the f-18s so the f-18 for example has that as well so if you click it and you pull the g's you will see that it just goes for it even if you are stalling it out it can actually pull, you know, Cobras and stuff. Um, it's only these two aircraft, I think, for now. Like, the Sukhois, the Su-34, 27, the 30SM, you know. But then the F-18s as well, so... Look at this, hold up. I mean, it's not as much as the other ones, and you can pull some crazy maneuvers. But it's, of course, less than the SU-27s. They are more made for Cobras and stuff. But it's still pretty interesting to see this, right? So, yeah, just remember, it's that button over here. One of the first ones, okay? The other mechanic is already here. So, uh, we're just gonna show to you guys. So, now, if you want to fire at a target, a missile, a Raider missile especially, you will basically have a, you know, a... a maximum possible energy wise point to shoot the missile so for example here i'm locking to that guy over there and this circle appears this circle basically means that if i point to that circle and shoot the missile um it means that it will have the best possible chance of hitting the target okay so whenever you see this circle flying around it's that 
this is only added for now for the SU-30SM, if I'm mistaken, some flankers, the F-18 and the F-16C, but in the future there will be uh, more aircraft. So basically you point to that and it will be giving the best possible scenario for the missile to shoot at, okay? This is just normal with the lock and yeah, you just get there and it's pretty cool, okay? See, it works even for the other missiles, which is pretty cool, very cool. And now we have also a new feature for the tilting of the radar upwards and downwards. So we are here with the F-18. The, the way that it worked before is that you basically had the stabilization. So, for example, look like this. If you had this option, I mean, it was an option, they removed it, so I forgot about it. But yeah, there was an option that made it you basically have a gyroscopic stabilization of the radar in tilt upwards and downwards. What that means is basically if you point the nose down or up, if you take a look on the radar, it's maintaining where the radar is looking. So the angle there, it's basically looking for the same place in the whole airspace airspace uh, in front of you, okay? But now you have some buttons that would change that. So the first one is, uh, where is it? Here, switch radar IRST gyro stabilization on and off and the reset radar IRST direction to bore side. So it's basically two buttons that would mean that uh, it stabilizes it, right? So if I click again, it stops being stabilized. So if I point the nose down, upwards, it's not stabilizing anymore. If I click again, it will stabilize itself to that place. So for example, there, for example, I want to scan where the sun is. So uh, it stabilizes it there, right? But if I click the button, for example, it will go down you know, together with the nose of the aircraft and upwards together with the nose of the aircraft. And the second button that I talked about is basically to reset to bore side. So uh, maybe, you know, it's out there, you turned and everything, and it's a crazy, like you cannot see where the radar is. You want, but there's a target in front of you, you need to point the radar to it. The reset, reset, uh, will just basically reset for the bore side where you are aiming, which is pretty good. Another thing is that they changed the way that it was. Like I said, they actually removed the possibility of just turning it on. So disable radar and antenna gyro stabilization emission start. For example, I like to have this off now because then uh, I like to have the gyroscopic thing. You know, I, ha I like to have this at first with the BVR. Later, I can change it up and now I have just a quick button to change it up and a reset button, right? So it is a lot better. So hopefully it wasn't too complicated to understand, but basically that's it. And some little things, of course, that I need to talk about is basically this, right? So now, for example, we have thrust vectoring with the first engine um, in the game. You will see more of these being added, but yeah, finally we have the first thrust vectoring, proper thrust vectoring engines onto the game. Of course, the more we go into the future, the more we will see these types of engines out there, okay? So, for example, in F-22, in other Sukhois, in many other aircraft, thrust vectoring will be there. And the last thing that I wanted to show to you guys, this is for my French um, aircraft users out there. And now uh, the... Um, the, 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 the Rafale, you know, we are in a Rafale has proper MFDs now. So uh, some of them were already kind of added, but now they are properly working in a very, very cool manner. As you see, you can have the camera navigation and the radar and everything. So uh, yeah, very, very cool to have the, especially that one. If you change the, the missiles in there, in the right side there. So yeah, very, very cool. Something that they are implementing in more and more aircraft. Okay, guys. So remember, just the, the button there, as you see, it's not on the Rafale, it's not on the Autofighter, apparently it's not coming for these aircraft. It's only on the F-18s and on the flankers, okay? So, uh, yeah, see you guys on the next one. I will be testing more of the flight models and the controls and stuff later, probably in a whole flanker video, okay, on the maneuvers and stuff. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and bye, guys, see ya. Let me know in the comments also what you want to see in the... Um, in the channel tomorrow probably maybe today i don't know yeah see it